Ukraine tension. Himar's rocket brutal attack blow up 40 train carriages, Russian troops, and ammo. Incredible footage has emerged appearing to show the moment a 40 carriage train carrying Russian troops and vital ammunition was blown up by Ukrainian forces in the latest blow to Vladimir Putin. Ukraine's army struck the train at Brylivka railway station traveling from Crimea on July 29th killing around 80 Russian soldiers and injuring a further 200. But now astonishing video of the moment the huge train was struck is circulating on social media, leading many to claim it was a huge victory for Ukraine in the war with Russia. Footage shows quickfire explosions, compared by many on Twitter to popcorn popping in a microwave as the vital ammunition on board is destroyed. Numerous rockets or missiles shoot up into the night sky from the destroyed train before they explode, much like fireworks. The multiple blasts produce huge, bright orange flames as plumes of thick smoke fill the dark night sky. Twitter user Jimmy whose profile describes him as a Kiev-based independent foreign policy slash security analyst shared one of the eye-catching videos with his 44,000 followers. He wrote, Footage reportedly showing the Hamar strike on a Russian logistics train at Brylivka railway station, July 29th. According to the Ukrainian government, 40 train cars of material were destroyed. Several people reacting to the footage claimed this could be a vital moment for Ukraine in the war with Russia as it looks to gain the upper hand. Twitter user Blake Allen wrote, If Ukraine can start tracking down and hitting Russian railway troops slash bases, that may be one of the most impactful ways to further degrade Russian logistics. The railway's troops are just unbelievably important to everything behind the lines. Fellow Twitter user Hello Bro said, That was a morale buster too. Yikes. Massive explosions. Anton Gyashenko, advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs, confirmed the blast in a post on Facebook last Sunday. He wrote, On the night of Friday to Saturday, a high-precision Hamara strike destroyed the railway echelon of more than 40 wagons that arrived from Crimea with manpower, equipment, and ammunition at the railway station of Brylevka, Kherson region. As a result, the living force turned into coal, the equipment into piles of scrap metal, and BC took off. The loss of life force ranged about 80-200x and 200-300s. Also, according to intelligence data, all machinists and engineers of the company Russian Railways, who were transporting military cargo from Crimea to Kherson region, were killed. He also warned, this is not the first case of the death of machinists of RZD in Ukraine. And it won't be the last. If your relatives work as machinists in the Ukrainian Crimea or in the regions of the Russian Federation where echelons of ammunition are delivered to the territory of Ukraine, know that they are potential suicide bombers. In the early hours of last Friday, Ukrainian forces also destroyed a Russian ammunition depot in Ilovaysk, a major regional railway hub. Footage shared on social media showed massive flames erupting and thick, dark plumes of smoke filling the Ukrainian night sky. Ukrainian journalist Denis Kazansky said the resulting explosions were so powerful that windows were shattered in nearby buildings. He added, eyewitnesses report that scattered shell bits were lying on the streets. The fire continues. The route from the city is closed. Ilovaysk is a city in the Kartsysk municipality, Donetsk Oblast where Russians are based, and was also the site of a battle in the conflict during 2014. Shh. 
Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin's forces have caused their own problems by blowing up a Russian supply train. Russian soldiers were attempting to create a protective smokescreen around the train in Kherson Oblast when it accidentally set on fire, Ukraine's military intelligence said on August 2nd. According to the report, the smokescreen plan was to shield the cargo from a Ukrainian MR strike. A day prior, another Russian train was hit during a Ukrainian strike. The message said, in order to mask the unloading process and protect the train from Mars attacks, the invaders deployed a powerful smokescreen. At around 11.20 a.m., an explosion rocked the site. Its exact causes are difficult to ascertain due to the dense smoke cover. The train, however, suddenly started rolling towards Crimea following the explosion. Russian troops around it panicked and scattered. It is assumed that the explosions may have been caused by unsafe unloading work or by an accident in deploying the smokescreen. The latest incident will serve as yet another blow to the Russian president. It comes as Putin lost another senior army official in the war, which began more than five months ago. Russian Major General Fedorenko was reportedly killed in battle, it emerged yesterday.